Hey, how you doing? Check out my new mandala. Yeah. After a lifetime of making art, and over 25 years experience with mandala making and sacred geometry, I have come to see this universe as one gigantic communication system. It's all talking to itself. A perfectly correspondent consciousness, a vibrational consciousness, as manifesting in three specific languages, three primal root archetypal languages. I call them sacred sound, sacred sequence, and sacred geometry. This mandala that's behind me here, this mandala, this holds aspects of all three of these sacred languages. Number one, it vibrates. That's pretty obvious. Number two, it makes numbers and sequences of numbers, both simple and complex. And it illustrates an archetypal reality of sacred geometry called concentric circles and the squares that can happen inside those concentric circles. The archetypal language of sacred sound teaches us about the unchanging universal correspondence of vibration. The repeating harmonic and discordant aspects of music are obvious manifestations of sacred sound. And the new mother with a baby at her breast. Now that is a magnificent example of sacred sound. Those tender cooing energies the mother makes to her baby. And that tiny innocent human being knows exactly what those vibrations mean. The language isn't English or French or German or Chinese or Polynesian or even Lakota. But that baby feels those vibrations and understands. That, my friends, is sacred sound for sure. For sure. Pure communications in vibrations themselves. Whoa. The archetypal language of sacred sequence teaches us about the nature of time, counting, and numbers. The most esoteric archetypal aspect of sacred sequence is the conceptual numbers themselves. Oneness, twoness, threeness, fourness, fiveness, etc. Mathematics is an obvious aspect of sacred sequence. If we look at the universal mathematical vibration called pi in the universal language of form called sacred geometry, we see the circle. If we look at the same vibrating energy in the language of sacred sequence, we see the numbers called pi. A good example of exoteric down-to-earth sacred sequence begins when a newborn baby's umbilical cord is cut and he or she takes that first breath. That moment begins our life as air-breathing creatures and also begins thousands of sacred sequences marking our experience of time in heartbeats, seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, etc. This concludes the number of breaths we take and the number of trips we make around the sun. And so in this trinity of languages, the circle is not only vibration, sacred sound, but it's also sacred geometry form, and it's also simultaneously sacred sequence numbers. Our physical bodies respond powerfully to the language of sacred sound. We feel it in our bones and in our heart. We sense it. On the other hand, sacred sequence appeals to our rational capacities, our rational capabilities, our abilities to go from point A to point B to point C, to count. This is left brain sequential stuff here. Now, 
the great bridging language is sacred geometry because not only does it touch us intuitively and we feel it not only that but we also can look at it and see the perfect empirical mathematics there simultaneously it's very very rare let me show you some examples of just how clear sacred geometry speaks to us how beautifully and tenderly and intimately it speaks to us the circle is the first enclosed form of sacred geometry both dynamic and static it is perfect completeness enclosing all all that is it is oneness the heart of all holistic thought the two points which create the circle also naturally create two circles of common radius and the vesica pisces and both the equilateral triangle and the square spring directly from the vesica pisces and this brings us to one of the most beautiful and consistent realities of this language called sacred geometry it's a correspondent polar duality called dynamic position and the static position. This easily understandable visual reality is an important key to understanding the messages that are coming from sacred geometry. This is the archetype of sacred geometry known as the two circles of common radius in its dynamic position. And this is the same archetype in its static position. Here in the static position this archetype feels at rest, grounded, and steady, embracing gravity. In its dynamic position, this same archetype, two circles of common radius, feels very different, as if it were perfectly balanced, defying gravity and holding the possibilities of motion. This is an equilateral triangle in its static position. This trinity has a graphic voice of powerful stability at rest and solid as it points to the heavens. Now we see the same equilateral triangle in its dynamic position, perfectly balanced on one of its corners. The root numbers of this trinity remain the same, but the graphic voice, the vibration, is slightly different. This is a square in its dynamic position, and here it is in its static position, and each feels very different. The static square is the essence of inertia, total stability, and the dynamic square speaks to the polar opposite. The root mathematics and form of the square have not changed, but the vibrational correspondence has changed. All of the archetypes of sacred geometry hold specific vibrational energies, which are all omnipresent, omnipotent realities forever speaking to us about the true nature of the universe. Yes, the universe is talking to us in three beautiful sacred languages. And I'm really interested in all of those languages. But as an artist, I really love sacred geometry. I really do. Because not only does it satisfy my left brain, my brain of reason, my brain of that's interested in logic and science and numbers and all of that but it also satisfies my intuitive heart mind and it brings me into these intimate receptive places with something infinitely larger than I am the rules of the universe the archetypes the roots Wow and the more I keep listening to this language the more it keeps teaching me and the more he keeps teaching me, the more I am healed. So, now I'm trying to express these ideas in the simplest possible way. So that you all will have a chance of beginning to feel this thing called sacred geometry and to feel this thing called sacred sequence and to feel this thing called sacred sound and to somehow put these all together and make them work in your daily lives that's what I'm trying to do yeah that's what
That's what I'm trying to do. Namaste. Namaste.